the show. Hey, what's up you guys? So today I am doing another Q&A. This will be my third question and answers. And I'm also going to make this video a little bit shorter than the old Q&As. Those were like... 29 minutes long, which was surprising that both of them actually were 29 minutes. And having shorter Q&As, I'll probably do them more often. It's just before that it took a while to edit the entire video. So yeah, we're gonna keep it short. And hopefully I actually mean that this time. <laughs> so now I'm gonna see what kind of questions you guys are asking me. And also thank you so much. We finally hit 10k subs. Yay! Um but yeah, I think that's really crazy considering I was stuck at like 600 subs for like the longest time. I've had my channel since leave seven years, six or seven years ago. So it's been a long time and I had to take a break from my channel because of college. But now I'm bringing my channel back to life. It's just crazy because of all the positive support I receive on my channel. So thank you so much, you guys. You are awesome. And time to get to the Q&A. And also here's a link to my social medias. I have a Twitch account, Twitter account, and an Instagram account, and they all go by SMF underscore Frieza. So please check those out if you're interested to find out what else is going on on my channel. I also use Twitter a lot more than all my other social medias, so if you wanna stay connected with me, just follow my Twitter, thanks. You're awesome. <laughs> so let's see what crazy questions you guys are asking me. Todd Turk asked, what are you going to call your squad of followers? Um, I don't know. It was, at first I was thinking of the Frieza Force, but that's kind of already a thing since Resurrection F came out. Um, I actually don't know. Comment below what you think my squad of followers should be called or what do you all want to be called? Liger0x asks, would you have preferred future Gohan surviving and going back to the past than future Trunks? That would have just been... I think that would have been more confusing because of the fact that Gohan was alive and during when Future Trunks came. That would just be pretty obvious. You would see this figure and be like, is that Future Gohan? Because Baby Trunks wasn't born yet when Future Trunks came back in time to stop Frieza. So I'm just, I feel like that would be really confusing. So I'd probably just keep it with Future Trunks just to avoid like confusion. Alfred, oh my gosh. What is your name? I can't. Alfred Shikalakuk? Shik I have no idea. Um, well he asks, I don't know if anyone has ever asked this before, but why are your brows so thick? Um, I suffered from plucking my eyebrows out as a kid, so I filled them in. I mean, the this, what I have right now is pretty much what I have for eyebrows, and I just kind of fill them in a little bit. Sometimes I like my brows thicker, thinner, just depends how I'm feeling that day, so what I do. My eyebrows aren't naturally thick. This is probably like the extent of my eyebrow, naturally. DB Geek asks, first of all, congratulations on the success of your channel so far. Super happy for you. And my question is, if Riza did not exist, then who would be your favorite character? Thanks again, and I hope you continue to grow. His name sounds familiar, so I'm pretty sure I've seen you before in a QA. and a Um, if Riza didn't exist, my favorite character. Whew. That's a toughie. I don't want to think of Dragon Ball Z without Frieza. That'd be really sad. Um, but honestly, if Frieza didn't exist, I think my favorite character would... And I know I've said this in a lot of videos. Or actually, no. If Frieza didn't exist, my favorite character would be Vegeta. And that is a fact. I think Vegeta's a cool character. So yeah, it would be, it'd be Vegeta. <laughs> Monkey Man asks, currently how many Frieza figures do you own? Oh my gosh. Uh, one, two, three, four... Five. And then I have one in storage, so that's six. And then I have a Frieza Fear of Fear Pop, so that'd be seven. And then eight was my Happy Build figure. Eight. <laughs> and then my two Funko Pop Frieza's. Nine, ten. So I own ten Frieza figures right now. <laughs> a lot of them are back in my home state. They're still in storage. I need to get them when I move to a bigger place, but I have 10 Frieza figures total, not counting my plushy Frieza's. Then there'd be like 12. Or actually I have a keychain too, but that's not, it's a little figure keychain. So 13, I own 13 Frieza things. 11 of those are figures. Okay, 
Rising Eighty asks, congrats on the channel. Who do you think will be eliminated next in the tournament? Also, will you be live streaming the Dragon Ball Fighter Z when it's released? Keep up the great content. Oh yeah, I am going, I already have my Twitch account set up, so I'm planning on streaming my adventures of Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I'm really excited for that. I have my PlayStation 9 camera. I got my headset. I'm ready to go. And I am so ready for February. Please come soon. But yeah. So I'm gonna live stream that on my Twitch. My Twitch account is smf underscore Frieza, so please follow that. Um, in the near future, I'm going to stream Until Dawn in Alien Isolation, so if you wanna check that out, check it out. <laughs> Who would be eliminated next? I know a lot of people are suspecting Roshi to be eliminated next, but I honestly feel, well, from Universe 7, I'm thinking Vegeta. I'm just going by the theory of the ending, but if like anyone in the entire tournament I feel could be eliminated, I want to say Frost, because I feel like since we're getting a couple episodes focused on Frost, I feel like he's the next to go, and I hope so, because Frost, mm -mm. Frost is the Walmart brand of Frieza, so yeah. <laughs> okay. 11 or GZ Thick, I'm assuming. I don't know. THC. What type of dudes are you attracted to, and do you plan on creating your own anime? Oh my gosh, if I could create my own anime, I would create a Frieza-based anime. I think that would be awesome. Also, what type of dude? I mean, I'm really attracted to the, like, nerdier guys, the geeky guys. Um, my boyfriend's kind of a geeky guy, but he's also, I don't know, he falls in that category. Like, I don't, I'm not a big fan of, like, jockey, like, sporty guys, although I do like a guy to exercise and, like, do sports and stuff because I love sports. Like, I like playing tennis. I like, like, or I like running a lot, hiking. So, yeah. <laughs> At least somewhat of an athletic type of guy. I'm already taken, so I'm not in the market for a boyfriend. Okay. But, yeah, if I could create my own anime, that'd be pretty sick. Devin Harrison asks, how annoying is it for you that some people can only comment about your look? I mean, seriously, guys, stop being pervs. <laughs> um, I mean, I what irks me is when people leave comments on my channel that are like, I only watch you because you're pretty. It kind of hurts me because I, I like providing awesome content for all of you. So I hope that's not the only reason you're watching my channel. And I feel like sometimes people say that, like... They don't say it in a nice way, so they're trying to be, like, spiteful. But honestly, I don't really care anymore because I do have comments that are like, Hey, your channel's awesome, your content's awesome, so it makes me happy <laughs> for what I'm producing. Why? Come here! Oh, he's so cute. Come here, baby. He's so cute. Oh my god, my dog's just chilling back there. Okay, Alejandro Vargas asks, Hi, congrats on your channel. It's growing fast. Love your reactions and videos. Where did you get your Pikachu cover for your laptop? Oh, so my laptop cover, and it's really annoying because the purple thing I just recently bought, it's kind of, it shows all the fingerprints, and for some reason the paint kind of smears off, but this, this is just a decal that you can get on Amazon. So this just, this is on the Mac. This isn't a part of the case. It was like seven, six dollars. Just search on Amazon, Mac decals, and then Pikachu, and you'll probably get something like that. I mean, you don't really need it. For Mac, it just, it works better because it's like holding the apple. So it's like eating the, <laughs> eating the apple. Xmet 2111X asked, do you have any other plans for your channel, such as gameplay videos and etc.? I'd be interested to see what else you may do. Also, what is your plan to do for your next milestone? Also, congrats on the 10K subs you earned it. <laughs> Um, I'm actually gonna do a 10k special video. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do for it, but um, honestly, I'm trying to branch out with my channel. I want to do gameplay videos because I'm not the best gamer, but I was really good at Budokai and Tenkai EG and those games, so that's why I want to start playing Fighter Z because I feel like I can actually be good at it, not like a pro at it, just decent enough to get me through life. I'm gonna start using my Twitch account once I get it all figured out, but I also want to get back to my animation videos. I still have to finish my Fifty Shades of Purple video that has been going on for two years and I need to stop pushing it off and finish it. I need to finish it. And I haven't finished it yet and it's crazy. Okay, Stefan Stalik asks, what do you think about this theory, Frost versus Frieza? Frost achieves golden form, but Frieza beats him because he has low stamina, just like Frieza had when he first achieved it. I don't think Frost can achieve it, honestly, because think about it, Frieza trained about like four months, I believe, to obtain the golden form, and I feel like Frost 
shouldn't be able to just transform. Because Frieza's golden form is kind of like his thing. He's special. He achieved it. And even if he achieved it, Frieza could still beat him because Frieza learned how to control his stamina with it. So, I don't know. I just, I really don't think that Frieza will show Frost to begin with about this golden power. Because when you think about it, why would Frieza show... Because when you think about it, why would Frieza show his opponent? You know? Christian wrote us S. Hello from Argentina. Hi, Argentina! You are awesome. Oh my gosh, that was loud. Well, I got two questions. Which is your first memory of DBZ? And the second one is, can you react to Frieza's voice in other languages? And finally, congratulations for all of this. Um, so... My first memory of Dragon Ball Z would definitely have to be Theranix when Gohan's smashing out of the pod and then he just smacks Radix in the stomach of the stomach. <laughs> My first Dragon Ball Z memory, I remember watching it as a kid and it kind of terrified me that Radix was taking Gohan hostage. Um, also, can you react to Frieza's voice in other languages? Is that like a video? All I'm finding are Frieza videos in different dubs, so. Oh shit. Oh shooty. Um, but yeah, so if you put a comment down below, link to it, there's a specific video of Frieza doing different languages. I'll react to it. Dub Miguel asks, have you seen any of Dragon Ball Super English dub? Yes, I have. I've been keeping up to date. I'm on the most recent episode, except I'm so used to the Japanese dub that I prefer the Japanese now over the English, but the English is still really good too. Like, I really love the English dub for Dragon Ball Super 2. Ultimate Warrior. Do you prefer Marvel or DC? Okay, well, for me, I'm more of a Marvel fan, but I kind of like them equally. I don't want to be in that big war of Marvel versus DC. I like Marvel a little bit more. Okay, Amadad Miguel, did you ask already? <laughs> do you have birds? Because it sounds like you do, and what are your dog's names? Um, I only have one dog, the other dog I was watching for the day, so I was babysitting that dog, but this dog, his name's Riley, and he's sleeping right now. <laughs> Um, also, that's not my bird. On my Twitter account, I actually showed a picture of the bird. So yes, it's a very annoying bird. It's not nice at all either. Okay. Oh my gosh, Amadab Miguel, you're asking all these questions. If Frieza was never from Universe 7 and was from Universe 6 and Frost was from Universe 7, that universe would win the Tournament of Power. Well, we don't really know the extent of Frieza's true golden form yet, so I'm not... Not really sure, but then again, you would have a team with Frieza and Hit. That seems very OP. So, I don't know. I feel like Universe 6 might have the upper hand over Universe 7, just because they have Khalifa, Kale. They would have Frieza and Hit. Not 100% sure. Okay. Liam Sellers asks, Who's your favorite new character that has been introduced in Dragon Ball Super? I have two favorites. One is Beerus because he's really funny, but when he gets serious, he's a total badass. And my other favorite character is Kale because she's adorable and cute and how shy she is and actually kind of reminds me of myself in a way as far as my personality and confidence goes. Um, my two favorite characters would definitely be Hit would be one of them because I think Hit's character is really cool and badass. And I would also pick Mai because she is a complete badass chick. So Mai and I would pick Hit. Those would be my two favorite characters in Super that have been introduced, so. Sparkly Pig, did you grow up watching Dragon Ball as a kid or did you start watching it later on in life? Um, I actually grew up with it as a kid because it was airing on Toonami and I would always watch it. Okay, Sebastian Margari asks, I like your reaction so much, and my question for you is, what do you think about the special episode of Dragon Ball Super? I don't really know much about it. I know we'll get introduced to Goku's new form, but knowing how they like leaving cliffhangers, we're probably going to see the form very end of the special. We won't really see it in action. And I'm also excited to see what happens, what's the terrible event that's going to happen, and also Goku versus Jiren. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to in the special. I'm really excited about it. Okay. Hellfire Slaya, I've seen you in a Q&A before. <laughs> he asked, so first, what is more creepy, I guess, to watch? DBZ showing camera angles and empty clothes from the people cell absorbed in the city or Super Boo killing the main crew, Chi Chi, Bulma, Krillin, etc. by turning them into chocolate and hearing them scream and amazing on reaching 10k subs. Great stuff. Hope I make it up there too. Um, uh, probably Boo killing Chi Chi and... Boma and Krillin, like, cause that's just messed up, you know, turning them into chocolate over just, but it was also dark seeing 
during the cell saga like them panning over all of cell's victims which is kind of dark but honestly the fact that boo turned them into chocolate and killed them that is messed up cell killing people just was more dark <laughs> Okay, Dice Chang asks, I've always wondered, do you eat vegetables? What do you think is the ugliest vegetable? <laughs> um, Brussels sprouts probably are, no, no, artichokes. Artichokes are probably the ugliest vegetable. They smell bad. Um, I do eat vegetables, like broccoli, carrots, the basic ones. Um, I like cucumbers too, those are yummy. Fried zucchini is delicious, fried zucchini for the win. Fried zucchini for the win. Shanoob Gambu asks, music wise, what are your favorite openings and ending theme songs and from the entire Dragon Ball franchise? One more question, will you do a video equating the characters in the Dragon Ball franchise to the public real life figures? Like for example, Frieza is the space Hitler or Kale is Fluttershy or Hinata the Saiyan race or Star Trek and the Power Rangers make a baby to make the pride troopers. Um, <laughs> The second question, um, maybe, you never know, but also my first one, I love Chala, Head Chala, Chala, Head Chala, but I also like Dragon Soul from Dragon Ball Z Kai, I think that one was a good opening too. Endings, oh my gosh, I can't, for some reason I can't really think of Dragon Ball Z, like, ending songs, because I didn't really, like, focus on the songs, titles, and names. The only one I can think of is Yak Hair Break from Dragon Ball Z Kai also. You kind of cheated by using <laughs> things from Dragon Ball Z Kai or Dragon Ball Kai or Dragon Ball Z Kai. Okay. Samario so asks, "What is the most embarrassing thing you have ever worn?" Um. This is a hard question because I don't really get embarrassed on what I wear because why would I buy clothes that I didn't want to wear? I can think of a story that kind of goes along with the question. Um, when I was younger, I accidentally, somehow I managed to go to school and this was probably like in the third grade and I like wore a winter coat and I did not wear anything underneath it because I am stupid. Like I literally was naked and I had a winter coat on as a kid and it was the most awkward day of my life. So yeah. That was probably the most awkward thing I've ever not worn, I guess. Mew, the one and only god, asks, What is your favorite opening song to Dragon Ball Z or Super? Mine is the Dragon Ball Z Kai one, but I think overall the best opening is current Dragon Ball Super opening. Oh my gosh, I love the current Dragon Ball Super opening. I think it's great. It gets you pumped for, like, what's to come. So that's probably one of, I really enjoyed that one, actually. But I always say that because it's the current one I listen to and then I, like, abuse it because I listen to it on repeat on my iPod so many different times. Um, but yeah. Off to space now, let's start the show. Grab on time now. Laughing all my worries away. Silly thoughts may get in the way. I can't get no satisfaction. That's probably horrible. Anyways, um, so I'm sorry if I missed any of your questions, but I will go back and I'll do another Q&A and I'll finish the Q&A for this one. So don't worry, I will get to your questions. I'm gonna end it with Arno Schmidt. Um, two quick questions. If you're surprised about the 10K subs, what would you say about having a subscriber, maybe more all the way from Brazil like myself? Actually, it's really interesting because I do, I've noticed I have quite a few people that watch me from Brazil and like Peru is another one that I have when I look at my statistics, which is really awesome. Just having outside of the United States, having people that support my channel, I think that's super cool and it just, I don't know. It's great to know that people around the world are watching my content. Um, and also, what are your favorite DB slash Z dubs? One of the English dubs, Funimation, Ocean, Kai, or the original Japanese dubs? Um, I do like the Japanese dub. Obviously didn't watch Dragon Ball Z in Japanese really at all. I do prefer the Japanese dub for Super, not only because it's farther ahead than the English dub. The English dub is great, like I grew up watching it. But I just like am in love with Frieza's Japanese dub voices. Oh, it's beautiful. It's Japanese voice. English dub Frieza is also amazing. So I, I love I love them both equally. Just I love certain aspects of the dub 
and certain people from the dubs compared to the subs, but I also like certain voice actors from the subs compared to the dubs, so there you go. But yeah, I'm gonna end the Q&A here just because it's getting really long, and I'm trying not to make really long Q&As. I will get to everyone's questions, don't you worry. I will do another Q&A probably within the next one or two weeks. Thank you all for the 10k subscribers. I'm still in shock. Thanks for the positive support on my channel. Also, if you like this video, give it a like if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel for more awesome Dragon Ball Super content, anime content. And as always, I hope you all have a great day. Stay fresh and bye!